We are so excited to welcome you today, beloved fans and gladiators, as we welcome, how you know them, Huckleberry Quinn. Let's welcome to the stage stars of Scandal and hosts of the new Shondaland Audio Rewatch podcast, Unpacking the tool Toolbox, Katie Lowe's and Guillermo Diaz. Buddy, what's up? Hi, friends. What's up, guys? Hi, gladiators. This is Katie Lowe's. This is Guillermo Diaz. We're a bit confused. Yeah, now you know. How's everybody doing today? Is everyone having a wonderful South by Southwest experience? Mine just Yo, started. <laughs> she just came from somewhere. Tell them where you just came from. I'm not exhausted at all. Um, I went to the Oscars last night. Yeah. Like Her are, husband is uh, Adam Shapiro, who is the pretzel king. Yes, now. and for you gladiators, yeah. he played Jesse Tyler, who was Quinn's boyfriend that got blown up in Cytron. He rigged the election. Let me just take it back for you. Um, but he also started a pretzel business during the pandemic, and Jimmy Kimmel called and said he's a huge pretzel, shappy pretzel fan, and he asked to have a pretzel underneath every seat at the Oscars. Awesome. And Adam was like, totally, 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 but can we go? And so I got on a plane after all the after parties and all the things just to hang out with you, really to hang, to hang out with you and to hang out with you. Did, did Nicole Kidman eat a pretzel? <laughs> She did not eat all those skinny muscles. I know. None I was saying. Pretzels. I know. I was worried, but I thought it was a really good idea to have a pretzel under a seat because oh, yeah. maybe that is the night for people to really go off. Oh, They've already sure. fit in their dress. Yeah. Their underpinnings are exploding. And like not at the top of the show, but halfway through you could have right. a pretzel. And you got to put down a layer for all the drinking you're going to totally. do later. I would have been that guy that goes around and is like, yo, you going to eat your pretzel? You going <laughs> to eat your pretzel? You going to just collected all those pretzels. Wait, who's on your um, pin? Oh, it's a Madonna pin. As you probably know, yeah, I'm a huge Madonna fan. She had a party last night, but Katie didn't go to that one. I did it. Madonna has famously had hosted the after party for the Oscars for like a hundred years. years. Yeah, yeah, for a while. But she was competing with the gold party, which was hosted by Beyonce and Jay-Z. I didn't get into either of those. Right. You know who did get into those, though? Carrie Washington. And Shonda Rhimes. Uh, duh. <laughs> Because they're fancy. Wait, aren't we on a Shondaland show? I like, know. How the fuck did you not it get It doesn't in there? transfer to That's us. I know. I call bullshit. I agree. Um, we're so glad that you're here today. I think that a lot of you are gladiators. We're going to take you guys down memory lane a little bit. We brought some of our favorite photos from seasons one and two, which are what we're currently recording for the Scandal Rewatch podcast. <laughs> okay, y'all. This is uh, Quinn Perkins in the pilot. Does, do you all remember the line when Olivia says, too much cleavage? Yeah, see that? I'm rocking the cleavage right there. But a little bit of a fun fact is that in the script, she originally said, your skirt's too short. But in my fitting, when I booked the job, I told Lynn Palo, I like my boobs better than my legs. So can we change it? Hi! <laughs> I have a friend in the audience. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I like I my you. boobs better than my legs, too, yes. funnily enough. Yes. Okay. So that's my memory from that photo. <laughs> what about this one, G? Oh, oh I know. man. Which one is up right now? That Oh, that one. Yes. Oh, shit. Well, there's Amanda Tanner and Gideon Wallace, who was the reporter who gets stabbed in the neck. And she gets drowned in the Potomac. Yeah. So what we love Fun about, stuff, the, you know, what we love about this photo is that this is the, we do this on the, podcast it's the scandal body count so we've got two dead people yeah. in this photo from season one they both yeah. die in oh, season yeah. one yeah, bye, yeah. bye bye r.i.p r.i.p okay this is quinn season one up at the board if you guys remember this this is how all the cases got solved and it was always so hard to do because not only did you have to remember your lines perfectly. Yeah, you had to put those photos up. And I tell this on the, this story on the podcast, but I when the, when we wrapped the series, I asked one of our producers if I could have one of those window panels, those flawed, cracked window panes, and she was like, "Yeah." And they freaking delivered it to my house, and I have one of those hanging in the entrance of my house. Why? And I love that I did that. And every, Why all did the you other, tell I, me I know. that you did that? 
that. I it's know. the best idea ever. I, I know. I one for myself. And on the last day of shooting, remember, they gave us posters, and I put mine out outside, like, in base camp, yeah. and just had everybody sign, whoever worked on the lot. Yeah. And then I Carrie and too. then Shonda noticed, and they all put their posters. And, we copied yeah, we, you. Yeah, like, we copied you. Biting. You smart. I love you. <laughs> oh, man, in this photo, this was an episode where I'm trying. Huck is going to do something, and uh, uh, Columbus Short's character, Harrison, is trying to stop him, and, and Huck does this super duper, like, you know, karate You move look so And brings strong. him down. Yo, but listen, thank God for editors and for stunt coordinators, because <laughs> I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just like, you know, they made it look really good. You but look it's really a re good. You look really <laughs> strong. And you know who's also doing a great part in that scene is Harrison, because... Yeah. Those fight scenes, it's about the person causing the pain, totally. but then the other person has to make has it to look sell it. like yeah, sell it, which yeah, he did. yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Do you all this remember is... Becky, Huck's first girlfriend? This is Becky, Who... and she she's the one that was trying to she yeah she, she shot, shot the, president. the president yeah. She yeah. shot the president. Yeah, that's Susie Porfar. She's an amazing actor. Yes, she, she is. Was, she's a b big theater actor, and our, our amazing casting director, Linda Lowy, yes. saw her in a play, right? Who her husband, Jeff Perry, was also in the play. And I yep. think that's what, when she noticed her work and then cast her as, as Becky. I just remember amazing. this scene. It's not in this photo, but all I remember is you and Susie Porfar having a sex scene on a bunch of photographs. Yeah, 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 Does yeah. Anyone yeah, else yeah. remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they had a, I, have, I have tattoos. I have, like, a Madonna tattoo here and like a Basquiat tattoo and I remember that I, I had to go in early like girls usually you had to go in early yeah. to get your makeup and hair done um, and they brought me in super early to cover up all those tattoos that was the big that was the hardest part of shooting this episode <laughs> oh. oh another nice scandal fun yeah. fact that you learn on the podcast that sound which sounds a little bit like a you know um, a fart <laughs> a fucking fart is that what Thanks, you... Guillermo. Um, that is courtesy of Scott Foley, and it's a special sound that he makes around people that he loves whenever we're about to shoot a really serious scene. So good luck to all the actors working with him. But it yeah. normally sounds like on set, like rolling, speed, <laughs> action. And, yeah. Every In this time. picture, this is where we start to see that Quinn is a little weird. Yeah. He's you, a little you... weird. I have, a th I have someone's ear. Yeah, that's that a severed gave, ear. That's a yeah. severed ear. Hollis Doyle's daughter faked like a kidnapping Hollis, and cut off her, her own, own ear, ear and get money from Hollis, right. from her dad. Yeah, and, and sent Quinn is it like, in, and I'm like, <gasps> like all into it, and so you're starting yeah. to be like, Quinn is um, yeah. not the girl we crazy. originally thought she was, is she? <laughs> okay, what's this? Oh, this is from. 752. Oh man. Everyone give it up for Hagrid Huck. Hagrid Huck. <laughs> homeless Huck or Hagrid Huck. Yeah. What's more of your favorite? Is it Hagrid Huck or Homeless Huck? Homeless Huck? Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing more houseless. of the homeless Huck. I, I hear that you're the PC, the more oh. PC th thing to say is houseless. Oh, interesting. Or I, I don't Are we wrong? I don't remember some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Unhoused. unhoused. Yes, yes. Great. Unhoused Huck. Okay, unhoused Huck. Fuck that. He's home. That's Huck. the way to um, now. Yeah. <laughs> this was such. I, I remember getting the 752 script and just being like, you're just getting a wave of, of anxiety because it was it was so uh, daunting and so overwhelming. Everything that I had to do in that episode and it was so emotional. I remember crying at the table read like it was like, but it, it, you knew it, it was going to be a special episode, but. Yeah, and the hardest part, one of the hardest things about shooting 752 was when I had to do the flashback stuff and they had to put that beard on. And because you wig, couldn't eat food. Because then I couldn't eat because all the hair gets goes into your mouth. And one of the things that we love to do is to eat. We love eating. So whenever, And we were the people on the show that we just love snacks. It's how we got through the 18-hour shoot man. days. We yeah. loved eating in scenes. We're going to get to that in a minute. Yeah. Let's do this one. Yeah. G, G and I picked all these photos special for you. This is where you see how incredible at acting Guillermo and I are. Doesn't it seem like we know what we're doing as hackers? Guess what? We didn't <laughs> you know, don't know jack. Shit. We are really bad at technology. I yeah. He I, can't even work a phone. I, I when we do the me. podcast and there's a lot of tech involved with sound and buttons and all this stuff, Guillermo has no clue what's happening, and he sends me texts, and I don't really know either, but thank goodness for the Shondaland audio team because <laughs> they really help out. But see, in this photo, it looks like we're doing all this stuff, but when they we're would call, call cut, Guillermo and I would just be like, 
Yeah. Like, like, like <laughs> you know, like just playing with the keyboard. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is where we get to. We chose this photo because there's a sandwich on on Huck's desk, and and again, so every stupid. time there was a scene, I know some most actors don't like when they have to eat in front of a camera, you know, because then if you eat, you know, for this coverage, you have to eat when they're doing the coverage on the other person. <laughs> um, and but I love to I love to eat. I would get so excited, and usually Huck would eat sandwiches, and our our great uh, props people, yeah. props guys, would be like, "What do you want to eat?" What kind of sandwich do you want? And yeah. they would make it fresh. Yeah. And then they would have to make double, so I knew that I would get to take some sandwiches home. Does this sound crazy? Are you guys like this? Anyway, it was very it's really exciting fun. to eat it on camera. It actually makes acting, your acting, yeah. I think it's such a gift. Because Good you can't really fake eating. You have to do it. It's sort of like there are three things when you're acting. Eating, smoking cigarettes, and kissing. You kind of like actually to have real. to do them. Yeah. So it's sort of a gift for acting because it's like... You can't really fake it. But so many actors don't do not do it right. Yeah, what are they? They're not as good as me. No. Are. Well, on Sex in the City, they eat really well. Oh, Sarah really? Jessica Parker, Cynthia Nixon. Go back really good and look eater. at that, folks. A little fun fact for you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Who's this? We have somebody in this photo who also loves craft services the same amount that we do. <laughs> and he's also a B613 member. He's also nuts, like we two are. Is that how you say that? Sorry, Oscars. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, but I love you all. Um, and we have a very, 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 very special guest today who came all the way here to hang out with us and you all. Um, again, he's a member of B613. He's Quinn's baby daddy. He was on Father of the Bride. He was on Father of the Bride. And we have to call <laughs> out and bring out, and has somebody, is there a chair for our lovely, lovely, yes. the one, the only, George Newbern! Yes. Hi, Hello. Charlie! How are you? How are you? Is this thing on? How are you? Good to see you. Thank you. Love. We love you. We love you. Where do we want to do? We want to like a newscaster. How you doing? We got a cold front coming into Austin, Texas. He's amazing. He's very good at all things well, voice. Go George the is the, the voice of Superman for voice years. Superman. He does the sure, cartoon of Warner Superman. Yeah, do yeah. you know that? How many Actually, years have you done that for? Uh, about 15, 16? Holy shit. In video games. Say that as Superman. It's just me yelling. It's just me. <laughs> Do yelling. it. We got a cold front coming in. Get to the watchtower. Wow. Wonder Woman. Let's go. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's right. How did you get the role? Oh, so listen to the podcast because we have fun guests on all the time. Kerry Washington, Shonda Rhimes, Tony Goldwyn, everybody. And we just grill them about all their stuff. So are you ready? Yes. Okay. How did you get the job? How did I get the job? <laughs> well, like any uh, schlepping actor, you have to go to an audition and, um, do you remember your size? I, do, I don't remember the size, but I had gone into to Shonda's office many times for other Grey's Anatomy, blah, 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 and I just wouldn't get any of them. I was like, God dang it. Same. That was and the same I, so I Same. Got, so I got the audition. I was like, man, they know me there. I'm not going to this. I didn't. I just said, I just said to my wife, I said, I'm not going. They know me. This is getting humiliating because I've been in like five times. <laughs> and my wife had just seen Scandal. Like It, 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 it was already on. I think they'd already shown it. Yeah. She goes, okay, I just saw the show. You're going. You're going to go. And I'm like, all right, I'll go. Wow. So I went. And, and if you all God know Marietta, yeah. Marietta, Adam started something called the Scandal Wives Club. They're going to be on the podcast as well. Yeah. Anyone who is significant others to anybody on Scandal hangs out with us all the time. So we know Marietta very well. And this tracks because yeah, Marietta sure. is very strong and smart. So yes. she was like, yes. you better get your ass you to that you, audition. You better don't. You better you don't. don't. You better Bring don't. Bring home that bacon. Yeah, that's right. No, so so I went and uh, and literally it was just a guest spot and um and it kind of turned into, you know, as, as it kind of yeah. kept going. So you, you didn't know that it was going to be more than... No, no. Did, just, was it going to be like an arc nope. or was it going to be like four one episodes? One episode, one Wait, episode. Wait, was your first episode you were naked on a tarp? Okay, yeah. So, so I get, tortured? No, I get the audition. Lucky and, me. And in the sides it says, at the top it says, actor must be be comfortable being nude and uh, comfortable around power tools. And I was like, <laughs> that is the first time I've ever had that in an like audition Like, only on Nude candle. with power tools. I Am said, I right? I only think I'm okay candle. with it. <laughs> I think I'm okay with it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, power tools yeah, and power nudity. To power tools very and nudity. Interesting. It's very specific. Okay, so you got the part, and yeah. the first time you, w was the first scene you shot in episode five where you and he are in that um, in, the, in the in the diner in the diner yeah, yeah. and they have a scene where 
he is saying like, oh yeah, your your spy name is Huck Finn. That's so lame. He's like, my my name is for Charles Manson. So right, Charles. Like, I'm, good, oh, yeah. I'm doing a good. I'm yeah, catching yeah, yeah. you all up. Right, right, right. Okay. That was so Do you were you nervous? I, were you prepared? Were you good at scandal pace? I he was, was on Father of the Bride. He wasn't nervous. I wasn't nervous. <laughs> no, no, no. I I was. You know, I it had been a minute before I'd it kind of worked. I go through my whole career. I'm like, I, I work a lot, and then you don't work. You work a lot. So I think I'd been probably four or five months since I had a job. I was like, okay, don't fuck this up, don't fuck this up. This is this is Shonda Rhimes. So I was nervous in that sense. But once I got there with Guillermo, I was like, oh, this guy's great, and this is a great scene. And once once you have great words to say, it all falls into place. And actually, the, the, the thing about Shonda Pace and all of her dialogue is that if you stop and think about it, you're dead. If you just sort of lean in and power through, it makes yeah. sense. It's like Shakespeare. Yeah. Say it so the way it's true. written, yeah. and it will come. It informs the emotion and the rest of it. Wait. G, can you take out your notes on, oh, yeah. on this dude? Well, Guillermo. Where's, the, where's our loud asses? I don't even know why they gave us mics. I know. Where's Project with the theater actors. So much more fun to hold it because you can make I know. noises. I always write down. I'm so damn old school. See, I hacker. He's good. He's recycling. Jeez, I burn those things. So, what has G- what has George Newbern done besides Father Bride? Because on the podcast, Guillermo's obsessed with two things: Madonna and horror movies. Oh, three and sharks, and food. Okay, four, and me. And but okay, I love you. Okay, so then, um, what is so he always tells what the guest star has been on in terms of horror films. Has George horror been films. on I've horror been on films? Several horror films. Yeah. A movie called Doppelganger with Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Yes, you might have seen it. We've got yeah, doppelganger yeah, fans. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh my God! Yeah. You play Patrick Highsmith. Patrick, Hi- sure. Yeah. yeah, it was just awful. It was a terrible movie. Terrible movie. She just turned sixteen. She we started. She was fifteen. Just turned sixteen, and her mom was there. Her mother was. It was very. It was a very difficult. She it was tough. She she wouldn't come out of the trailer. It was a bad time in her life. I think. But I was very nice, and she had some scenes where she had to disrobe. And I said, Drew, listen, this is a really bad script. I said, I'm going to protect you because you're going to look back on this and you're going to wish you hadn't. Wow, done. dude. And so that's awesome. when we had these ce- we had these makeout scenes, I said, I'm going to I'm going to kind of cover you over here because trust me, this is going to be bad. You've made out with Drew Barrymore. Sure did. And yeah. me. <laughs> so <laughs> I've made out with Drew yes. Barrymore. <laughs> and Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. I've so made out with made Jennifer Aniston. You've made out, you've made out <laughs> that's right. He was also sure. on Friends. This is Friends. It's oh, a lot of love. but now Doppelganger is like a like a. It, it's so good. It's so it's such an underground sort of. If you're a horror fan, is it you really? Love this Do people movie. watch that thing? Oh yeah. So she should have taken her yeah. clothes off. What were you thinking? Well, I mean, it's she, a huge she's movie. Literally fifteen. So well, come on, huge. it was like. Okay, right. okay, okay. And the special effects in the film are amazing. There's like a monster that sort of. Kind of. Right, I thought it looked like ET. I thought it looked like ET. Came out. He was also in Saw Six. Saw Six. You guys know Any Saw Six fan. I would okay. never watch Listen, that I film. I don't watch scary movies. I don't. Me I don't either. Like to be scared. And yeah. oh, and in Doppelganger, uh, uh, Jade Barrymore, Drew Barrymore's mother, Correct. she was is in, in the movie. Yeah, as well. I think she kills her in the movie. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And Sally yeah. Kellerman, who was in the original Mash. Yes. Sally. Uh, God. Yeah. Dennis Christopher from. Breaking yes, Boy. Peter Dobson. Sure. You know, is a yes. cinephile. He is. He's on, a, go, oh, he's yeah. obsessed. Go he, on Tubi and check out Doppelganger. <laughs> The doppelganger part two, Hilarious. which is really bad. Look at Guillermo just throwing That's papers. How I do it at home. Yeah. He's just throwing <laughs> notes around. Yes, okay, yes, yes. hold on. I have more questions. Wait, so, oh, so oh, okay. also just on, to on. rattle off some of uh, George's credits, he's be, he's been in a, a million. Th- you did a Grey's, a Private Practice, sure. Friends. You did sure. an Outer Limits episode. Yeah. Oh yeah, which I couldn't believe. One. Yeah. But check this out. He was also in an episode of Designing Women. Oh yeah, I did four. I was uh, Julia, what Julia the F. I was uh, Dixie Carter's son. That was my first job in L.A. That was George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did like that. Wait, iconic. Yeah, yeah. Also iconic. Yeah. Can I tell this story? What? Which one? That you oh, yeah. t- flew in college. You were at North. Oh yeah, Western. I was a junior at school, and I auditioned for. Oh, hey, there's a movie. Go audition for the movie. I, I got. I went into this uh, on tape for Jane Feinberg in Chicago, and then I got a call say, "Hey, they want to fly you to L.A. to meet Spielberg." And I was like, "What?" And it was Back to the Future. So they flew me out. I was just like he tested against Michael J. Fox. Well, I was down to the last three or four guys, and uh, they had cast everyone, and it was right before Eric Stoltz got it. So I did a ten-hour screen test with Crispin Glover and Leah Thompson. What? And everybody, everybody was there. Everyone had their wardrobe on and everything. I was like, "What is happening?" Did to you me? have the red vest? <laughs> did they give you the? Wait, I had the all vest? his clothes on. Oh, I wore, it was you wore the orange vest. I, I wore all Michael Fox, whatever that ended up being. Uh, I did it all, and I didn't get it clearly. Wait, had um, you already done Adventures? Being in 
actor no, I'd done nothing. such a I bitch. Done nothing. <laughs> I was so doing music, I was a musical theater guy. I was a ballet dancer for six hours. Oh, yeah. Theater. Show. Right. Can you? I'm so sorry. No, we I'm don't not get to dances. do this in person. Stop it. Just show them your turnout. No. It's so st- good. Stop it. Look I'm not going to do it. Warm. Sorry. Isn't he delicious? Oh, is fifth. He's amazing. Ow, that really hurts. He is that such really a hurts. special awesome. right, now stop. human. He was Come also on. in an episode of Family Ties. Family Ties. That's right. So then you got to work with Michael J. Fox, right? I did. I did. I did. And did you tell him that you almost uh, got the part? I, 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 we did talk about it. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. Oh. And was he like sucks for he you? Said, you, do, you? He was probably like, yeah, sucks re, for you. you I'm a really millionaire. <laughs> I am Guillermo. What a joy you bring to the actors' lives. Oh, that's amazing. Um, that you do so much. He do, uh, Guillermo respects actors and acting so much that he does so much work on the podcast to like really show what the guest stars and the co-stars and everyone has done to get where they are. And I think what's so special about Scandal is that all the leads, all the guest stars, everyone really has had an incredible story yeah. and journey as like working, working yeah. actors. It's yeah. really a and great And so group. many of them have been part of Shondaland for a long time and that's what Shonda does, right? Yes. Yeah. Sort of finds somebody that she loves their work and yes. brings them onto a show and then continues to hire them. Yeah, I'm, I'm really so I'm great. wanting her to continue. Yeah, we're Not all us. in that we boat. Yeah, we would all, <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. So this photo, I would like to ask, how did it feel being married to Quinn Perkins? It was amazing and I'm still thinking about Aww. it. I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you got to officiate it, oh, honey. I did. I Come did. on. You got to officiate it. I this did. wedding was the mo- this was towards the end of the final season. So we're all very emotional. I had just had a baby. God, that was amazing. That was nice. And in real you life. You, oh, and Queen had had a baby too. <laughs> ah, Everybody was having baby. Wait, Katie, you had just had the baby? Or were you pregnant during this time? Weren't you pregnant while we uh, were this episode? You were pregnant during part. Yeah. yeah. I was pregnant when Quinn was pregnant. I don't yeah, know, guys. You were here, Honestly, the rewatch podcast we've gotten through seasons one and two, which is incredible. Whoa. And please listen, or we're doing it right now. So this, we're not up to seven. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what was happening in my life, but we'll relearn it. Do you yes, know what I mean? Yes, um, yes. But I do remember we were so emotional shooting this scene. Yeah. It was so special. Yeah. And felt like we were really. Well, it was lucky. the end. It was. It was the end. Yeah, the last right. season of Scandal. Yeah, we no. knew it was going to be the last season, so we got so much time to say goodbye and like had so many events yeah. around it. And people didn't know that the the network didn't want a Scandal to end. You know, they wanted us to continue doing episodes. Um, but Shonda always knew that it, Scandals was going to be a you know was going to have a beginning, middle, and an end, and it yes. was going to end. And it was. And Trump go made on, it like, end. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He got elected and that there was nothing crazier than yeah. real life. And so then she's what was like, happening in real life. This. It's so then true. It's this. so true. Yeah, very hard yeah. to be in a political show when when the political atmosphere is was wild. Like, yeah. Ridiculous. Um yeah. but she also I think I think and rightfully so, I think the show ended we get the question all the time, like when's the scandal musical coming out? Which I'm like, please let me audition for that. <laughs> Um, or the reboot. Or the reboot. reboot. But, you know, what I think is so cool about... We did not make it. We're not in it. (laughs) You could be a dancer. It's going. You're in the chorus. Yeah, but no, we didn't get in. I know. (laughs) I didn't Um, make it to the Half-Baked 2 sequel. Oh, honey, Uh, it's okay. I don't care. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. But what I think Uh, is great about Shonda is that... um, (laughs) You guys, drag us off this stage whenever you're done with us. I can end well. Shonda... I think we ended on a high. Yeah. Like we and she yeah. wanted to go out where we did and I feel so grateful that we can all rest our head on the pillow knowing that we made the show that we all intended to make and we loved our characters and we loved each other. Like we're on a WhatsApp chain with the entire cast and all of our significant others. Probably every once, day. Probably once once a week or At twice least. a week. At least it's like happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. Congrats on the job. Yeah. Yeah. Send a picture of the kid. Like it's totally. so intense yeah. and wonderful yeah. and just the greatest. Okay. George, yes. favorite scandal scene to shoot. Uh Favorite scandal scene to shoot. Yeah, God, there was so next to there's better so choose right. You better choose right. I think you know. Actually, uh, I I enjoyed um, uh, the babies having the babies. We were all covered in fake blood in the basement when you had your baby. That was fun. And I we had a fake baby, and to make it look like it was a real baby, they took a prosthetic baby and covered it with jelly and cottage cheese. Yeah. How well, disgusting! Yeah. Really, really gross. Yeah. But 
they do that. They do that. I, I was saying earlier too when Huck's wife had a baby, there was an actual baby, and they smothered the baby in grape jelly and yeah. and cottage or cheese. Or is it as well. delicious? Or is it delicious? Yeah, I well, think it was kind of gross. You know, babies. sorry. Is there? I mean, babies are not delicious, but I mean, oh. is cot is a cottage cheese jelly sandwich a thing? Ooh, I have heard <laughs> of it. <I'm> not- <laughs> Did you mention a sandwich? <laughs> Bring out the sandwich. Did you say sandwich? <laughs> um, I'm deceased. I cannot. Um, that, uh, and, uh, um, I think another scene was, uh, I loved um, the scene when I would go to the door with Joe Morton, and I, and I say, I want to get back in with B613 toward, toward the end, and, he could, and then the baby cries in the distance, and I go, what the fuck was that sound? And then I go in, and I get to st- start to strangle Joe Morton. Uh, oh, because he has your baby, right? He's got the baby. The yeah. baby's upstairs. Don't Robin. You yeah. Ro- uh, I, Robin, Robin was our baby. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You don't remember uh, our baby's name? Ba- barely, yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't remember that shit. Uh, Robin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was yeah. his nickname for Quinn. Yeah. And they were twins, weren't the actors? Because you're Batman, I'm Robin. Oh, right. yeah. For the whole series. Right, right. So his nickname for me always was Robin. 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 So that when right. I gave birth, our baby girl's name was Robin. I mean, only Shonda Rhimes and the Scandal Writers can come up with something that poetically delicious. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but I they- loved our scene. Do you guys remember oh, this? We had a yeah. huge, I hated shooting it because what I learned in Scandal is that not only, well, I'm not great at the hacking stuff. Uh, well, you guys hopefully bought it. But I, um, all the action stuff that Quinn had to do, we had a big fight scene that the music supervisor so brilliantly chose to put to the song Endless Love, um, where we are, we just had sex and then there's a kill card and it falls out oh, of your yeah. pocket and oh, I learned great. that like, oh, you were going to have sex with me and then you were going to kill me oh, and then it's just like, it's on. It's like oh, my. lamp breaking, that, punching the that, shit out of each other. Actually, like, you know what? Ooh, ooh, I take it back. That. that was maybe my favorite Scene. I know that you loved shooting that, it. No, Tony Goldwyn really is the director of yeah, the episode, yeah. and I was like, "Get me know. out of this! I don't. Oh, I like walk God. and talks. I like sitting at a <laughs> desk and doing interrogation. I like being at the board. Like I like all that. I don't want to be like, oh my God, but you're wrestling. So good I was at in it. booty so shorts it. doing it too, which is just and like that was a spray tan thing. I had gotten. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, this all, they have this saying, if you can't tone, tan. So I really went hard on the tan part of it. Sure. Okay, sure. favorite scandal memory not on set? Uh, not on set? Um, uh, I think uh, um, uh, when we all got together up in San Inez, maybe we're all together. We yeah. were playing a, a Cards Against uh, yeah, Humanity, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. Uh, that got really ugly what? and funny. Oh, my God. Really funny. We also had a scandal reunion. We've had a few trips yeah. that we've gotten to take as a group. We're currently working on our next one. Guillermo's scared because he's a homebody. <laughs> <laughs> but if Marietta makes another paella, I'm See, so down. His adorable. wife made this amazing, huge pot of paella, See. and it was so freaking good. Remember so that? it was the most delicious thing. Ever. She's the most uh, incredible cook in the entire world. But Gear, uh, George has a beautiful house in wine country in Los Angeles See. and or outside of Los Angeles, and he invited the whole Scandal cast to come. for. And we had all these plans to go out and go wine tasting, and we literally stayed in his house. Drank, ate, and played cards against him. hours That's all we just did, yeah. being like a sleepover, like all of us in our pajamas. Um, Even Carrie came. Yes. <laughs> Carrie and Namdi. It was the best. Okay. Did you take anything from set? Uh, I took a leather jacket and uh, a, a, a tuxedo that, that kind of has to get uh, uh, re-altered. <laughs> now. Um, yeah. Are you still fitting in any of your Scandal not, shirts? Not <laughs> really. The shirts, not so much. <laughs> Don't put them in the dryer. Our no, first no, no, episode no, no. of the podcast, we both wore like one of the Scandal shirts that we got. We were both like, oh, <laughs> shit is tight. <laughs> It don't, but he, Guillermo's very good about laundry. He hang dries all of his stuff. Yeah, it's t-shirts, so I don't throw them in the dryer. You can't. That's yeah. so smart. Yeah. Um, the audience tr- is like, why am I here? What? what? No, no, like t-shirts <laughs> in the what? Oh, yeah. This is, okay. What's your favorite Charlie snack? Oh, Charlie's donuts, 100%. Did you have to eat a thousand donuts on set? I so set? many donuts. I had so many donuts, man. And lollipops. And lollipops. I don't That's know where that detail came from. Did I start doing it and then they wrote it in? I'm not going to give you that credit. I'm going to say it was the scandal writers. I, I love remember. you, but I, what I do you think? I, I feel like it might have been you because your was ass always was always eating, eating something. And, and I, they were like, oh, you know what? That'll I, work I, for I Charlie. I started eating and then yeah. they kept going. Yeah. Well, I, it was just because I was always a fat. But we, we love, lo- yeah. I, I know, no. I, but then sometimes the bad thing about eating is you would eat on camera and then they break for lunch and then you're like, oh, oh, I'm not God, hungry. I'm come back and eat. Right? But yeah. then you pack a plate and oh. finish it later. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wait, do you guys remember this photo? 
we sh- we we shot in front of a green screen, and uh, for a lot of people, that, that was a green screen. Yes. The show. They. they what do you think, think that, that was really like the Lincoln Memorial? Memorial? The yeah. bottom part oh. of it. But. <laughs> no, I don't oh, know. No, they maybe. built. Did they? No, they didn't. Just they the built stairs, the, the stairs. stairs. Okay. No. Yeah, we never shot in DC until the pen ultimate episode. Tom Verica, who is our producing director, and fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fun fact played. Um, uh, he was on How to Get Away with Murder, and he plays Viola Davis's husband. Yeah. So he's an incredible actor, incredible director. Oh, he's also the producing director of Bridger. Bridgerton yeah. and the upcoming Queen Charlotte. Who's stoked? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and he was in a horror movie called Red Dragon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. He plays- <laughs> And he Hopkins, played Kinnicky he really was. three times in the tour of Greece around New Jersey and Pennsylvania when he was 18. Seriously? Yeah. I, I did not know that. And he may or may not have dated all of his Rizzos, but that stays here. Ooh, <laughs> I got to talk to that him That stays that. here. He's the greatest Love ever. Him. What a Love talent. Him. What a great actor, great director, great, great human being. Um, why are we talking about him again? Because look how hot Dark we look, Mark. too. Like we look oh, did hot. he shoot this episode? Uh, oh, possibly. He would be the one that would fly to D.C. and just, like, do stock footage. Because yeah. we all never oh, shot yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. once a year, I think he would go he and just sort of, like, that. look, here's the White House. Get that. Monument. Well, no, but, yeah, this. but they shoot a live-action film and then just put it green in. screen and put it behind you. And it looked like you were at Lincoln right. Memorial yeah. or Rose right. Garden. And you'd but never this know. day felt like, like a big deal because of the steps that they built. Right? Yeah. We were all like, oh, yeah. wow. Yo, I look so cool. <laughs> Why is right? your face all beat up? I don't know. I was tortured and beaten so many times right? on this Why show. I, 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 oh, I wait. That takes me back. I forgot to ask this question. We're on your first day of shooting when you had agreed to power drills and nudity. Sure. Were you naked? Or uh, did you have a thing? No, I had you know, the, 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 you know, the union sanctioned a little thong on. But uh, but but I was wrapped a in a banana hammock. It was a little banana that is hammocky. Country yeah. breakfast. And then I was wrapped in. Uh, plastic. <laughs> what do you call what? it again? Your country breakfast, two eggs and a salsa. Hello, how you doing? A meat and two veg. Yeah, sure. We talk a lot about this because uh, I don't. I think when people see, look, Scandal was a hot show. Now that we're watching it back. Um, and again, this this podcast. If you have listened, you know that Guillermo and I feel, and George is now because he's done his research to be a guest today, has been watching the seasons back. And the show is so good. It's I, really good. I mean, I can't believe it. We didn't watch it really well. I haven't we seen it since it. we stopped, honestly. I had not seen one episode since we We were stopped. so busy live tweeting and stressing about being at set, you know, on Friday mornings, knowing our lines, that we really didn't watch the show on Thursday. So this podcast has really been a gift where we've been going back and yeah. watching the show and, like, being gladiators ourselves, like you all are. And it's been such a... Like, I just can't believe in how was, proud was, that I got to be a teeny part yeah, of it. It was just same, such a same. special, special show with a special group of people. And, and I, it I love, still holds up. You can watch yeah. it on Hulu. Stream it now. Totally. I love that every guest that we've had on yeah. has some of them. Shonda started watching it. Yep. Um, I know Liza watched, I think, an episode. Um, Adam watched his right. Adam episode. Adam watched his. But yeah. everybody's rediscovering yeah. how great the show is. And was. stylistically, yeah. it really was kind of the first of its kind of that show. And so many shows since then have sort of copped that or it's just become part of yeah. TV. Yeah, the zeitgeist, the, the zeitgeist culture. Zeitgeist that. But, but yeah. it really racy. was unique. Yeah. It really was. We were racy, too. We were 10 o'clock Oh, show, I'm right? saying the chemistry... Yeah. Why we talk about banana hammocks and all this is because you... <laughs> Why are we talking about banana It's because of the Oscars hammocks. that my brain is not firing, but thank you. Why we're talking about banana hammocks is because... I get it. Now we're watching the show, and that shit was so hot. Like, yeah. I can't believe I'm yeah. friends with Kerry Washington and Tony Goldwyn, and they're just, like, doing that in, like, breaker rooms, and he's going down on her in an open hey office, now. and it's, like, hey insanity, hey and now. it's so good, and the chemistry is so insane, because then if you're, like, thinking about how we actually shot that stuff... Like what they're actually wearing, the privacy stuff, and it's a closed set, and you're pretty stressed. Like it's kind of like not sexy at all. So they did a great job. I'm saying they yeah. d- and we did a great yeah. job. Yeah. And we did a great job. Yeah. We, we went were for sexy it. too. Yeah, me and me and I Katie do a yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Me and Brian. Katie <laughs> shot an episode where Huck and Quinn have sex on top of a car, and we we talk about this a lot. Debbie Allen directed it, but um, we just went for it. We were like, we can't. This can't be like yeah. a wow. typical like kissing, no tongue. Like, yeah, we had a we lot of talks. It. I was so lucky. We had a yeah. lot of tongue. Yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> little uncomfortable then, right now. Little but uncomfortable. then there was Debbie Allen, like from Fame, being like. Yes, that was great. You know, or whatever. <laughs> she was the best director for that episode, not only because Guillermo and I had been working together for three years, and then 
boom, here comes a hot off the press script that's still warm from being copied. And we're like, oh, my God, Quinn and Huck do what? Like, we didn't know. No one told us. And Debbie Allen was the director of that episode. And it was such a gift. I don't know if I ever told you this, but. You know, you feel like into, oh my God, I have to be like so sexy. Like this is like, you know, we're slapping each other. He rips my, I'm wearing fishnet stocking. Yeah. He yeah. rips my underwear in half or something. And uh, isn't that what happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and then, I'm sorry. I'm wearing fishnets right now. Yeah, I was oh, like, yeah. I know <laughs> it. Just let you know. And Debbie Allen was just like, she made me feel so confident. She just was like, you look so, like, she just was like, you look good. You're such a beautiful, like, you've got such a great figure. Like, she just was like, get up on that car. Like, only the way Debbie Allen could. Like, she just made me feel so fucking empowered. And like, I'm going to manhandle this fucking psycho spy torturer and I'm going to give him the best sex of his life. He's not even going to know what hit him and then I, I said, hit him. I said all those things to George when I did the torture scene with him. Oh I man. Said all those yeah, I think you look enjoy- fucking great. Yeah, yeah. Get, the, get that shirt off. I think you enjoyed that a little too you. much, man. I just saw that last night. I was like, wow, this is yeah. scary. Have I, could I see your face when it was happening? Uh, yeah. I would not and have I, been okay. Yeah, like Huck is literally drilling holes. In did it. you feel comfortable? Like, well, was there, were you in a robe? And then did Guillermo do nice scene partner stuff where he was like, mm. you're safe You know, Shonda here. came down to watch you're that No. She sure did. She what? That might have been I'm the leaving. only time yeah. I saw I'm her leaving. on set. I I'm not would kidding. have had a heart attack. I'm not kidding. That's the first time yeah. someone got tortured on you remember she came down and watched Yeah. But was it really? It was toward the beginning. Yeah. I don't, I, I, you know. But uh, man, that was. Let it be uh, known, Shauna doesn't come to set because she's no, very busy she, yeah. in the writers' room. She like busy. literally doesn't have time. She, she came she, down for that and for 752, the, yeah. the, the mono, the yeah. speeches yeah, that yeah. they There was a fair amount of torturing, and um, yeah. what was it like? It's scary because you think you know because it really does happen in the world. You know, there's governments and yeah. wars and things. This stuff happens, and when you're on playing pretend on t- on the set, it just. You can't help but get skeeved out. I was very skeeved out by yeah. that. Yeah. Really? Yeah, of course. How could you? Did you do? just forget that you had a banana well, hammock on? <laughs> yeah, but no, but I was wrapped around. But oh, you were okay. I'm kind of claustrophobic, so when I, oh. when I can't move and yeah, stuff, that's I get great. real to a perfect. That's perfect. I for go to another d- and roll it. Roll it. Wait. You know what? I remember you being very giving because you tortured me too. I was always like, "Are you okay?" Yes, you okay, were yeah. the loveliest. Yeah, this yeah. is all coming rushing back now. Yeah. We haven't done this episode yet. Yeah. But when, when you pull pulled the teeth, teeth out. out yeah. All day we were together, and yeah, you were like, show. are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Like, he would be so huck, you know, like the mask on his face, and he's just, like, breathing heavy, and he loves it, and he, he's getting high off it, and he's it's his whiskey and his drug is to hurt people and all this stuff. <laughs> and, and then they would call cut, and you'd be like, hey, girl, are you okay? okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, you okay girl? Are you okay? <laughs> Wait, what about when you two had a ha- did you didn't you guys have to have sex on Scandal too? Oh yeah, yeah. several times. We had a lot of feel? sex. You guys were already buddies and cracking. Yeah, up. man. Yeah, for some reason just... we had a more traditional love life. We did. It was weird. I think Charlie's character was just like he did all these other things, but he kind of down deep wanted to have a like family. a husband and a I wife think he and wanted, a picket fence. Yeah, it was transactional for him, but he wanted to he wanted a relationship. Yeah, but the, the, he but the wanted work was normal. transactional. He I think. wanted yeah. normalcy. Yeah. We had like a different sort of like fun. yeah. Like that was the banana. Like they would probably watch like popcorn and t- new, you know, like the news yeah. or Jeopardy or something. Yeah, like yeah. they were like, which was different than us. Our yeah. conversations yeah. were like, more tongue the better. Like yeah. you can spit on me. <laughs> like you we can. don't need a safe yes, word. You can. Like we don't need. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. You don't need, need a safe, safe word. word. <laughs> Or Just a Squidward. insanity. I remember one of the one of the uh, scenes that I shot with you, which was su- such a great scene, was when we're, we're doing seven fifty two, and and I, and Huck comes home. And you're holding, Huck holding baby. the baby, and yeah. Huck already knows. Like yeah. you had just like, trained and showed yeah. Huck how to torture people and do all that stuff. And it, I was just like, oh my god! And there you are with this little baby. Oh man, God, that was so that was crazy. Remember that? Yeah, I, I so I just saw that the other day, and it's funny that you know. When I got this part, I thought this seems like a typical bad guy, but I said, "What can, what can I do differently that is not so standard?" And and then I just thought, if he can be ingratiating to every bad person on the show, you make yourself indispensable. You were, and and <laughs> and and also, and and the more specific details, like when that diner scene, I patted that kid's head, and I was like, yes. "Oh, that's good." If I can, if I can put as many small details in this thing as possible, yeah, I can that's define the character. Choice, well, no, but, yeah. it, but and then also with the kid, I think the more specific things you can plant in there, 
you guide you can give yourself totally. little touch points to to yeah. go with you know yeah it was that you were such a guy next door doing well, like that's really every bad everything shit. I had been doing in Hollywood for 20, 20 30 years before that was the clean cut guy then I had the boyfriend the husband and babysitting. The babysitting, blah, 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 yeah. blah, all that stuff and then I thought man if I get to pull if I pull this off and I get to not get killed which by the way I thought I was going to be yeah killed. wait tell that story oh yeah, yeah well yeah. every every week I was potentially going to be killed I remember one day he wasn't a regular I wasn't a regular. wasn't a regular I was I was still a guest star yeah. although I was doing 10 episodes in a season but it was weird and I would come I went one day and in the morning I was dead and the afternoon they changed the script and I was like okay I made that I got that one can so, you believe so that so I would go and I had three kids you know two two girls in college I was like please let this job keep going yeah. and and I would go to the table reads my pits would just I had to make sure wear something over so you couldn't see my pit sweat I, w- <laughs> I was reading everything like, fuck and don't skip ahead and Shonda was seeing if we skipped ahead yeah and I got word one episode, The one of the writers I was friends with, Mark Wilding, he said, hey, buddy, I just want to give you a heads up. I, one of the drafts has, you're with Quinn, you guys make out, and she slits your throat. And I think, I just want to just prepare you. I was like, okay. okay. I just I, learned And it's like, I knew, I knew this was going to happen. So I went home and I told my wife, and she was like, okay, all right. Well, okay. We had a good run. And I think I'd been on for, I think I'd done 10 or 15 episodes. So I went to bed, and I woke up the next morning, and my wife wakes up, and she goes, okay. I just Googled it. You can survive your throat being slit. This is how <laughs> this is how this works. You take this car- inner cartridge from a pen. You take it out. You jam it in your trachea like a, a tracheotomy. You get yeah. some super glue. Yeah. You goose that on there, and you can live. So if they do do that to you, go to the rioters and say, look, there's a way out of this. She was Which would have been a she, great scandal Would have been a great th- And by the way, they would have done They could have would have done it. Yeah. You know who oh, else did that? Dan Bukatinsky, who played uh, <sighs> James. Yeah. He also kept pitching. Like, I don't remember to who to the right. He wasn't really he dead. He was like, look, it, he could still. He could, could still yeah. That was like, nah, so stressful. Dead. When Dan you're Bukatinsky, dead. James Novak, was murdered on Scandal, Yeah. it sent all of us running for the hills. We were like, oh God. Uh, we're on a show where like the most loved characters can be murdered. All can be murdered. Yeah. And... Now we are afraid, like very, very, yeah. very afraid. Yeah. 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 That was awful. He also got an Emmy, so I didn't feel that bad. Yeah, yeah truth. Like, he won an yeah. Emmy, he and he was an Emmy. exceptional. He worked yeah. more than any of us since, by the <laughs> yes. way. Was it hard for you to say goodbye to Charlie? Very much so. I, I got to say, it's, I've been doing it for so long. I, I'm 92, in case you've looked at my <laughs> You MTV. look amazing. Thank you so much. Feel good. But I, I, I think that it's so rare to get a job where... That, that first of all goes past you know uh, three or four episodes, but the writing is good, the cast is good, the acting is good, and and it stays on and it's popular. It hit every metric that an actor in Hollywood never gets. You almost never get all those things lined up at once. So this when that ended, I was like, oh, this was so good. I I did enjoy it, but you know I just. I know that it's it's real rare to get that to line up again. Plus, shows just don't last very long anymore. Even if it's a hit, it's two seasons and that's it. You know. But. Also, can we just say now that while we're watching it back, uh, was Olivia Pope not one of the greatest all-time characters ever on television? I I don't. She was awesome. Like, yeah, yeah I, I clap it up. That I I I cannot believe. Yeah. Olivia Pope. And she was also the the first uh, since, first show that was Julia. led by a black actress since Julia. The first was drama Julia? in yeah. years 37 ago, years yeah, since there had yeah. been a black actress it was yeah. the lead of a network drama. And yeah. I mean, Carrie talks about it on the pilot. Like, uh, on Carrie talks about it on one of the episodes of the podcast um, that yeah. she's a guest, but she was saying it had to succeed because like all the pressure was on her so right, that right. she could really, that that could open be doors open for, doors. Yeah. Like, and she, my goodness, Carrie Washington, yeah. I mean, there are no yeah. words for that woman's yeah. performance, yeah, a- you know, meeting Shonda Rhimes words. It was really the most magical character. And I get it now. Like now I watch it. I'm like, Oh my God. I mean, she was incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Um, do you all have any questions for us? No pressure. No pressure. Although you do have three B613 people who pretended like they know how to torture people. Oh, we have a hand here. Hi. Should I run down and give you a mic? Oh, thank you, Alyssa. <laughs> How do you remember everybody's name? I forgot everyone's I can't, name. That we I don't had. know what. It's Guillermo, right? Ron. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey. So I 
and my sister watched every episode. Mm. Thank you so right? much. Um, I am someone who has worked in what I do to my adult professional life. I work at nonprofits. Uh, what I do is help people. Um, I am a good liberal, and I worked at the <laughs> yes. cap. I worked at the Capitol here in Texas for ten years. Oh, wow. So I've worked in government, and there is not a reason in the world I should have liked Scandal. <laughs> and no reason. I mean, it was like, really, the president kills that woman? No, yes. come on. Yeah. And, you know, this Burn thing. Burn a Thornton, and, and, and yet, I watched every one of them. And I don't understand why, yeah. but I did. And I wouldn't miss an episode. Yeah. Oh, and I when that. I thought about this thing today, I told my sister, and I said, oh, like, the epi the." session I went to before here had to do with removing children from uh, uh, from <laughs> their homes from child protective services and oh, all that. Oh you know, and I'm crying. Oh, wow, yeah. wow, wow. I mean, oh, that's goodness. the stuff I normally do. And my sister said, go to the scandal. Go to the scandal <laughs> panel. <laughs> go to the yes. scandal panel. Take a break. Thank Take a break. Your, yeah. Thank your sister. <laughs> and I don't know why I loved it, but oh. I did. Oh, I and love there's no that. reason, but. Thank, yeah. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. It's because You're of you that the show yeah, continued yes. to yes. so yeah. well. Like what is like your you. name? Hi, Hi, I'm Laura Ann Gerson. Hi, Laura Ann Thank Ann you, Gerson. Laura Ann Gerson. <laughs> and, 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 and I don't know if you have a moment when this is over, but my sister would be so thrilled if I got a picture. You yeah, got, you got it. Let's get it right now. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Right now? Yes, yes, here. Come get your come photo. Come on, come on. I'll take it. Do you have a phone? Thanks, Let's Alyssa. Just crouch down. Like, yeah, crouch down. Um, you know what's cool, though? Wait, I was going to say something about that, but now see Oscar brain and mom brain combined. Woo! <laughs> Um. <laughs> Live at 10. You know, I, oh, thank your sister. Thank you, thank you. you know, what I think is funny, though, I don't think you're alone in that because what was crazy is we used to get dropped. It, it, we got to go to D.C. a few times. We shot there and oh. we were invited, a lot of us, to the White House Correspondent Dinner. And I feel similarly to you, there were people working you know on the hill do, dealing with probably really really hard stressful the president of the united states was like i love your show guys we and met really? barack obama, and michelle, michelle were like, obama i sobbed wow. yeah. i was unwell michelle uh, said to us right she was like i was just watching an episode before oh, i have like, the photo us. of yeah. michelle Gra I'm, I'm like waiting yeah. in line you wait in line okay to like meet the president so you are your heart is like like that, yeah. like it was really like scary. Aretha Franklin is With there. Line ahead like, of us, I was like, "Don't step on Aretha Franklin's dress! Don't step on Aretha Franklin's dress!" Yeah. <laughs> And then you get up to your part, and you're like, "Oh my God! Like this is I'm gonna get a picture with the president, Barack Obama, and Michelle." And and um, I have photos of Michelle grabbing my hands and being like, "I have been watching Scandal all day today." Oh, it was a Saturday. She's oh like, "It God. is my break. It is my, uh, what you know, how I relax." So, yeah. first of all, is that not insane? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. But also, oh my gosh, and it's such a humble brag. I have that photo just right when you enter my kitchen. It's just like uh, me and Barack and Michelle, just like. Yeah. <laughs> you were Welcome like, to the house. You've yeah. seen it. Lisa Perez has seen it. You were the only one that went by herself because Adam was working. I know. My so. husband had to officiate a wedding and he will never forgive himself. Oh, man. He missed that night. That marriage was not worth that. Bad. It was not. <laughs> nope. It was not. But we used to get dropped into D.C. all the time while we were shooting. And there were so many people like you who worked in politics and worked really, really hard jobs. And I think felt similarly to you that... We used to get dropped into D.C. and it was like we were the Beatles. It was the yeah. craziest thing I've ever experienced. Like women asking Tony Goldwyn to sign their chest type stuff. Like yeah. crazy, crazy. Or to lick the yeah, People would come up to me all the time and be like, can you lick my face so I could take a picture? Oh, God. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. People used to be like, like let that. me look at your jaw. Do you still have your teeth? And I'm just yeah. walking around like, <laughs> you know, it's like super bizarre. But, um, yeah, so I think that you're not alone in that. I don't know why or what that recipe was, but Shonda had her finger on the pulse as she does, and there we have it. Um, any other questions? Go right ahead. Thank you so much. My name is Vincent Powell. Hello. I'm Hi, Vincent film Powell. I'm a media professor at Texas Southern University in Houston. Cool. And um, when I saw this on the uh, schedule, I just had to make my way. 
uh, love each and every one of your work individually oh, thank you. Well, thank and you. then what you do collectively. Um, when I think about uh, Scandal, uh, one episode swarms to mind, which is the lawn chair with Courtney B. Vance. Oh. And forgive me if we've already talked about it. I was a little late. No, no we okay. have not, and okay, we cool. should. Yeah, so um, everybody remember the lawn chair episode? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Courtney Before, B. Vance? Courtney B. Vance, yeah. by, by far. Um, the the relevance for an episode like that to like echo and boom 2015 it airs season four episode 14 and i have goo i have goosebumps all right the way through george floyd and and it's wild because the streets of dc now have a you know black lives matter boulevard now, yeah, and yep. all of that and he sat that lawn chair there in honor of his son <sighs> and demanding uh just as a, as a moment of grief as a moment of catharsis or whatever and I, I find it really wild watching it then I was a single guy and you know used to have watch parties friends all over the house now I'm married with kids oh, and yeah. I'm like man that that lawn chair I have two black sons the palpable angst anger and heartbreak yeah. of that that you all were able to do with that episode Literally, and there were a bunch of fun twists and turns throughout Scandal. There really was, but that episode lives with me so deeply. Oh, and um, so awesome. and I just I just wanted to just relay like how you all took so many things that needed to be touched on, from women's equity to you know child abuse to uh, mute responses to trauma, mm -hmm. you know, um, and and what those things do. Uh, and elevated it to a place to where it became a, a topic of conversation from barbershops to malls. Yeah. And so just hats off to you all. Thank all you for thank you so much. all of that. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. For, sure. for sure. Thank you. That was so, I mean, Shonda really, that's what was the special sauce that was scandal. It was not only was it appointment viewing and the, the sexy stuff and the OMG moments and all of that, but all of the things that she was and saying contextual the stuff, contextual yeah. stuff and we we did episodes rape in the military we did abortion yeah. we did our, our first episode the pilot was a, a soldier that didn't want to come out because right he was, so he was gay uh-huh yeah. i mean it yeah. was really really magical again to yeah. be a part of a show that wasn't just you know soap opera or whatever word you wanted or, or water cooler or whatever you wanted to say it's like no sh Shonda and the writers knew what they were doing and they were doing it on purpose and they knew they had a lot of eyes on the show and that she can make a change because she can make a change. And it was, I mean, I just was like, I remember the lawn chair episode. I and remember Carrie, shooting with you, yeah. yeah. I remember Carrie going around to the extras oh, yeah. who, in the scene where Courtney B. Vance has the lawn chair over the, over the spot body. where his son was shot and the the extras had to shout like horrible racial things and all of this and Carrie is just like being amazing like she always is and, and like I know it's so hard and this is awful and we have to dig deep because we have to tell this story and we have to do it truthfully and you are all such huge parts of this and these is just like you know all the extras that yeah. are spending their time but they have to play like some pretty horrible and say horrible yeah. things but it was lended itself yeah. I feel so much to the episode but and also, the, there was a cop, a white cop, that was playing sort of the <sighs> the bad guy. God. But I remember him being like, "Oh God!" Like, you know, sort of having a hard time with it because he, of course, you know, he didn't yeah. want to be that guy. But and and the launcher is on top of the body of yeah. his son. Like there was a he won't let the body be an taken actor away. under that chair playing. So we gotta get so Courtney emotional. B Vance for that. Yeah, episode. he was so amazing. Oh, we yeah. gotta get Courtney B yeah. Vance for that episode. Yeah. <laughs> Saw him last night at that's, the Oscars. I should have asked. You him. should have. Asked. That's also that's also the first episode I think that Cornelius who uh, played Marcus in, who played Marcus. Yes, who he Cornelius. was so amazing in that he was a, sort of like a like an activist, like very vocal. Yes, on the right? streets, he was like, he was like out with up. the people. Yeah. Yep. He and then wonderful. Shonda made him a regular on yep. on Scandal. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, Thank so you so special. much for bringing that. Yeah, up. Yeah, man. That wherever you are. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Question. Luke? I can't reach. Uh, oh yeah. Maybe, uh, we can hear. You. Maybe you can hear. Um, one. When I choose a series to rewatch, mm. it's it's scandal. Oh, <laughs> I, I I just can't get enough. Oh. But I have to say that um, your characters, the way that you brought them to life, and like after an episode, I would call my daughter, talk to my daughter. Can you believe? <laughs> Can you believe that happened? Like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> or 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. When, you know, bad to the bone. Yeah. I mean, just everything yes. that y'all did, it was always conversation after an episode. And we were like, oh my God, what's going to happen? And yeah. then I was like, oh, I'm so glad I can rewatch it and see. And, yeah. and oh, then good. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just so glad because me too, I was going to go to another session. And then I was like, wait a minute, what? I don't know. <laughs> So here I am, and I'm so glad y'all oh. have. This panel has been great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. being so like Thank open and just really sharing your, you know, good moments, fun moments. But I mean, just the behind the scenes things. So again, thank y'all. That's you all thank, you so yes. thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, so thank much. you. And if you like that type of stuff, and you get podcasts, that's this is what the whole podcast. Yeah. That's what the whole yeah, podcast yeah, yeah. is. We get to do this and talk about all of the memories and behind the scenes, hot goss and funny things and meaningful things and hard things and all of that. Um, and then we get to have so many of our friends on and we just hang out and they do the same and it's a blast. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Hello. guys. So won't even echo, like, love the show, of course. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Um, I'm most curious. So you're on this amazing journey. You know, you talk about, like, great script, great this, great that. What did you do, like, the day after the sh series wrapped? What was that process for you? Like, I'm still asking, getting over it. <laughs> Still upset. It was yeah. just so fun. It was a very. We wrapped at five o'clock in the morning, and we all like watched the sun come up together. It was so wonderful. The last scene that was shot was at Olivia Pope and Associates, and it was me and Guillermo, Josh Molina, Darby, Olivia, and um, everyone who wasn't even in the scene came to watch like came the last. Set, scene. Like, yeah. Everybody from the White went House, to Tony, down, Jeff Perry, everybody yeah. went to sleep at midnight yeah. and came in at four o'clock in the morning to watch the last take of the series and we all just like refused to go home we were yeah. like drinking champagne watching the sun come up my son yeah. was asleep in the trailer it was magical yeah. and then we slept and cried i don't yeah. know yeah. i yeah. can't really remember yeah. one of the hardest things though moving on from scandal was going to auditions and doing other jobs and and the directors always being like you you got to slow down you got to slow down how fast yeah that's do. right always. that's right <laughs> that's one thing i stuck with, the, yeah. with yeah me too yeah, I, think, I, I can't right? understand you yeah. just slow down slow yeah down. yeah, yeah. 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 I don't remember either what happened afterwards. I mean, we yeah, we just I don't know. It was kind of a blur, right? Just yeah. kind of hanging out. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> went to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, we did. We went for Cornelius's wedding, was that right? During the shooting? Was that after? After. That was after, after. Yeah. yeah. We had a trip planned to Mexico as a cast for it's like afterwards so we knew we were seeing each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Thank well, you so, so you much. Hear about actors who are like almost relieved when a series finished because they're oh, played. No, so right. No, I, I've really. been in those. I, I have been in those. That's why Shonda was why it was so great that it ended when it did because I do think not one person was like get me out of here or I'm so done with these people. Like it was everyone was like just so like we really tied a bow like a beautiful thing. Maybe Josh though. though. We were maybe like, No, we've had Josh on the no, show. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Even <laughs> Josh Molina. We're just joking. Yeah, the prankster on the set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hey. My name is Sidra. Hi, um, Sidra. I wanted to first, before I ask the question, I wanted to say thank you for um, basically acting in a show that had that element of surprise that I think Shonda and you guys, you know, we when we think of like a terrorist, right? I'm thinking back to Maya Pope's character. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oftentimes, you it, it, it you know they portray muslims really badly but throughout the entire show one thing i noticed with each episode was that you guys really had that hint of surprise like it doesn't fit the normal caricature yeah. even there was one episode where someone came from south america and his wife was unhappy with him and so typically that is portrayed uh, with like middle eastern leaders and mm. so i just want to say thank you so much for that was jose oh, zuniga's Shonda. episode yeah. Yes. Oh, that's Jose's yeah. Yeah. episode. Oh, but God, he thank him. you so much for basically portraying people of my culture in such a beautiful way and not really associating what you typically see in yeah. Hollywood. So thank you. Question I have for you. Yeah. You guys are all in shock, right? Like, holy <laughs> crap, you're rewatching this. So what would your current self say to, you know, Quinn on day one and your your actors, right? Like you're you're still like, oh my God, we produced a show that was so amazing and wide watch, but what would be like a you know, word of encouragement that you would say to Quinn? You're not gonna die. You're gonna make it. <laughs> that, that's Quinn that, makes it to the end, that's baby. What, that's Quinn exactly. makes it yeah. to the end. Quinn is gonna run. <laughs> 
Quinn Perkins and Associates, you got this. Like, relax. It's okay. Like, you can just enjoy yourself is probably what I would say. Although I did do, I, I think I did do a good job of enjoying myself. But I, I think the first couple of years I was so panicked about <laughs> That was of all dying. of us, right? We I, all I felt mean, that seriously, but you guys, you guys, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. What would you say to I, mean, I had a target on my back because I was working for everybody against everybody. Yes. So I had a target on my back. I knew that I was going to get killed. So that's what I would have said. Just, hey, <laughs> just, you can relax a little bit more. But I was on edge probably for seven years. Not till the last year. They made me a regular last year. So I was like, okay. <laughs> right. They made you a regular on the, the last, last season. season. So, but I finally got it. So it was good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I would have told myself to. And Charlie's to the best, coolest character of fun, all time. Man, it's real hard to get. I that. remember George at every table read. He would get some of the biggest laughs at every table read, and they would look at me and be like, "What am I doing? That's so funny." And I'm like, "I don't know, but don't overthink it. Just yeah, keep going. No, no, keep doing what did it. I do? I just said the word, and they laughed. I'm like, "That's it. That's just, it. It's your timing, it. yeah, yeah. and you don't even know you have it. Just <laughs> continue." Oh, yeah, thank well. you guys. So, what would you oh, say? What would I have said, to young oh, hug? man, I guess I, I probably would have said, "Relax. Also, calm down." <laughs> Like chill, just you know, just just chill, ease into it. Like don't. But also, I feel like the fact that I wasn't relaxed and kind of you know nervous about doing it and and always anxious is what made made the character good. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I was too chill and too relaxed, maybe I wouldn't have had that that sort of edge. It's kind of, kind of like life, had. though, right? You don't right? know how life is gonna. Yeah. End. You better just be happy where you are yeah. at that moment. That's yeah. That's yeah. 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 And right. that's it. Thank Sorry. you. And thank you so this much. This was such a blast. Thank you guys. Bye. I'm so like thank you so much for your questions and your and your attention and your care and your gladiator love. We really feel it. And after a night of the Oscars, I mean, I really needed to get the energy. I know. I was working the champagne tent. I was. I was. <laughs> uh, I'm exhausted from that. We hope you guys had fun. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And enjoy the podcast. Rewatch the show. We love you, gladiators for life. Life. Thank you, guys. 